Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf. I want you to realize that the golf swing is not about trying to put your body into certain positions. It's about letting this club and your target guide you where you want to go. That is the primary, obje primary objective you need to have. And the way you can emphasize that is starting to feel that the club and the arms are very heavy. And this, this is kind of like a, a drill, a le, a working on the range that you can really try and force yourself to do and exaggerate. And that's what I'm gonna try and show you today. So here we are, we've got just a six iron. I've got my regular target, but what I see so often is this hitting at the ball, trying to be too narrow, trying to hit hard, trying to force at it. That's, that's the type of golf swings I see because people are trying to hit it hard. Or the other one is looking where the backswing is, tr trying to fit in you know, particular positions and sort of guide the club as we go around by manipulating it to try and force it into uh, apparently perfect positions. Neither, I wager, are working out too well for you. But if you realize that this club weighs a good amount, and if I was to ask you to throw it down the fairway, you wouldn't be thinking about certain positions. You would just be releasing it, and you'd be feeling the weight of this implement. And that's exactly what I want you to try and feel in the golf swing. These arms hanging from the, the sockets of the shoulders, so we've got a good address position, we're firm in the legs, but the arms are hanging, but I can feel the weight of the arms, of the club, and they're just basically tracking where they want to go. Depending on what club, they will fit the plane, because depending on if it's a little bit shorter, it will go a bit steeper. If it's a longer club, like a four iron or whatever, it's gonna go a bit shallower, because the, the weight of the club is going to do the work for you. So here's all I want you to think about. I want you to feel that this club weighs an absolute ton and your arms are very, very heavy. So we're gonna exaggerate it on this move. Okay, so I'm taking it back, but it's heavy, 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 heavy. That just came off the club face like absolute butter. Whether it was a perfect swing or not is irrelevant because I'm exaggerating this feel of letting the weight of this, of the arms, just go where they want to. I'm not trying to force them. I start the swing in motion. I clear my body and my hips out of the way. And the weight of the club and the arms makes its position, you know, if you want to call it a position, to the top of the swing. And it comes back down with effortless power. So again, this is very heavy. I'm imagining this is almost like four clubs in one. So going back. I can hit balls like that all day long. So we're gonna try one more. I'm gonna try and hit a nice high fade now but it's heavy, so I'm heavy, heavy, heavy. So, what I want you to do is try that. It can really transform your game, your feeling, and you know, take some pressure off that strain you have in your goal swing. Feel like your arms, feel like the club weighs an absolute ton, and it will do the work for you. If you need to, make your clubs a little bit heavier. Some of the best swingers in the world use heavy clubs. Ernie Els, he's got a strain-free golf swing. He's got a very long career for a reason because he allows the club to dictate his swing, not so much the other way around. Trust me, it will make a difference.